Hi guys, today we are going to analyze the play Agamemnon. The plot of the play is quite simple. There is a guy named Agamemnon who is out on a war because his brother's wife Helen, aka Helen of Troy, was taken by Paris. After sacrificing his daughter to win the war, he returns home to his loving wife Clytemnestra with a slave princess. I'm judging him so hard right now. Anyway, his loving wife kills him for sacrificing his daughter for a stupid war. Yeah, I like her. Well, I've made a separate video on this topic. I'll be posting the link in the description as well as you can click on the link right here on the screen. Justice. Justus is happy to see Agamemnon die because Agamemnon's father hurt his father and siblings. So he decides to hurt Agamemnon, or kill him really. Basically, according to Justus, this is his version of justice. Yeah, this guy needs therapy. Fate and free will. These are probably the most used themes of the ancient dramas. Agamemnon is fated to die. However, he is given two choices in the battlefield. Either he can abandon the war or sacrifice his daughter and win the war. So he throws in his daughter in some weird ritual and returns home a hero. So the so-called choice is free will, wisdom and knowledge. This theme can be observed around Chorus as they know a lot more things than any other characters of the play. Fear. This theme can be seen when Cassandra predicts that Agamemnon will be killed and she'll be killed as well by an Avenger. The Avenger is Clytemnestra. Revenge. So after getting home, Agamemnon's all like me 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 and Clytemnestra is like, dare you sacrifice my daughter. And then she stabs him. You know, in all honesty, I think Clytemnestra is the most sensible person in this play. There are two important events. The first one is Watchmen waiting for Beacon, and the second one is the end, when Agamemnon is killed. The Purple Tapestries When Agamemnon arrives at the palace, Clytemnestra plies him with respect by making him walk on the purple tapestries. Agamemnon knows that walking on the purple cloth is disrespectful to gods, but he walks on the cloth anyway. Then, when he enters the palace, he is killed. You see, this is exactly the reason why you should not be arrogant. Aeschylus uses his characters to narrate the story. He also uses chorus to guide the audience through the play. The story takes place in the 13th century in Argos. Argos was a city in the ancient Greece. With this, we have come to the end of this video lesson. I hope you have found this video informative. If you enjoy these videos and see a purpose behind watching them, please like the video and comment down below. Until then, catch you guys later and talk to you on the next one. Peace.